A tiny grain of nuclear fuel is pulled from ruined Japanese nuclear plant in a step toward cleanup. Associated Press A robot that has spent months inside the ruins of a nuclear reactor at the tsunami hit Fukushima Dai. Ichi plant delivered a tiny sample of melted nuclear fuel on Thursday, in what plant officials said was a step toward beginning the cleanup of hundreds of tons of melted fuel debris. The sample, the size of a grain of rice, was placed into a secure container, marking the end of the mission, according to Tokyo Electric Power Company Holdings, which manages the plant. The first sample alone is not. Below are your comments. Don't mess with Godzilla's eggs in there. Hubris First you have to question the wisdom of a nuclear plant in a region of high seismic activity. Then they compound the problem by placing it just slightly above sea level. Japan is mostly mountainous. Why not build the plant 200 meters above sea level rather than 30 meters? Dot. It may take time, but we will steadily tackle decommissioning, Takahara said. That implies that it may not take much time, which is wrong. It will take time. A lot of time. Almost 900 tons of radioactive material needs to be removed. That's an astounding amount considering the probe produced a mere grain-sized portion which, as was stated, scientists worried may be too radioactive to safely test, even with heavy protective gear. Dot. A single grain versus 880 tons of waste. This will require a Herculean effort to achieve. For the good of everyone and everything, I hope Japanese scientists can figure out a safe, efficient way to fulfill the required objectives. Nuclear energy is mostly safe, clean, cheap, and efficient. The plants are built and maintained to the highest standards. But even so, when something fails, or if Mother Nature should intervene, or some freak accident OCCU. RS, the consequences are devastating. Nuclear energy is good, until something goes terribly wrong. That doesn't happen often, but when it does, it's always bad. And so, I have the solution. We can simply use two friendly little fireflies rubbing their feet t together inside a glass jar that designed to capture the light and heat energy produced s I have never understood why Japan did not emulate Iceland and use geothermal energy Please subscribe to my channel and if you like it please thumbs up